you guys community, welcome back to another video with God Chris. And today we are going back to the state of the meta series, which is a series we go over every single color in the game um, and giving an overall health check on that color in the format, as well as some recommendations for um, red decks and color that people should be picking up or playing uh, if they are new to that color. So as always, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for the, all the support. We are on our way to 2000 subs. Uh, we re most recently just hit 1600 so um getting closer to that uh that 2k is pretty important i would say so uh with red uh red has been in a very good healthy spot uh for a while and the most uh recent format change we did have a, a little bit of a ban list that did hit red kind of more so some other colors um but we did lose two particular cards in red which were the double strikers now these were not cards that were tied to red so the fact that they're just red cards is more so why they're here but this could give any card any attacking card double strike and uh 10k combo so this was a lot of ways for decks to finish games and I would say since the start of Z format, we've kind of seen Z leaders printed um, or archetype cards that gave other cards double strike. So this was sort of a, we kind of knew this was going to happen at some point, right? So the fact that it happened now, meaning that we, you know, we just got rid of these cards and this doesn't pack a lot of colors, red a little bit, um, but red outside of this, red saw no bands, no erratas, uh, nothing that really changed how red was going to look in the next format. And red is in a very healthy spot. It might be the most, the most healthy color in the format going into this set 20 format. Um, with the two big boss monsters that have still yet to really be, uh, dethroned, which is red sin and red Gogeta. Uh, both of these decks are still incredibly powerful. Uh, both have seen their own bans uh, to archetype cards, but the decks continue to thrive. I don't see any time soon these decks are going to be slowing down. I think the format, um, both of these decks can still just pummel most leaders. Um, even a lot of the newer leaders, uh, these two leaders have just been untouched for so long. And at some point, I'm sure one of them, if not both, will be removed from the game. But as of right now, they're they're living thriving and this is something that anyone who's not playing red has to deal with now um the first one is going to be red sin um so this is a this is a deck that again as i already said did see some uh bands to this deck um which really didn't change much how this deck was actually going to operate uh at least now um you still have the eight drop you still have the four drop both of these cards are incredibly impactful which is another card that we will go over with at the end of the video um, that does actually just support this deck, um, just outright, uh, like archetype wise. Uh, but both of these leader, both of these, uh, uh, cards, and then including the Z leader kind of make up this deck's late game pressure. Now this deck does sort of fall off after that, um, initial turn, turn three, turn four. Um, as this deck starts to lose some of the eight drops, maybe they don't draw them, maybe they charge them or whatever. Uh, the deck will slowly start to lose its advantage. Uh, but early on, this is still probably the best red deck to play, and it's definitely going to kill a lot of decks, especially people who are going to be playing slower control decks. Uh, this deck is going to just pummel those decks, and uh, we might not see a lot of those in top cut if Sin is still very popular here in the U.S. The other one being Gogeta, which seems to be the more popular red deck out of the two for us here in the States. Um, has very good early game great great end game either with the z leader and the combination of the eight drop here as well as the seeker rare which would be the fajito most of the time for this deck um not to mention the z battle card effects the unison being very powerful as well as the arrival tools and the fact that this deck just consistently keeps 13 plus cards in hand it's it is a terror of a deck to deal with so this is definitely something that i think as we go through you know maybe this next format we might see some changes to this deck maybe if this deck just continues to dominate um and with blue sort of taking a back seat and it seems like in this format um this deck is just going to thrive again we don't have to they don't have to worry about dirty bursts nearly as much um so you're going to see a lot more gogeta and definitely more red sin as well now we will go over um some recommended lists that i think people should be looking into if they don't want to play either one of these decks or they just want to find something new to play so the first leader we're going to look at is going to be pan now pan is a deck that has um it's been very popular i think since its re-release 
uh, which happened like right before Nationals. Pan is a very good deck. As you see here, you have some of the most more powerful archetype cards. You have the Pan that searches out the top five. You have one of the promos that works in this leader, which is the SS Sun Goten. Not so much an, an, an aggro card, but definitely some a, a good curve card going into later game. Being able to make this a 20k double strike that you draw off of off play, and then you draw off of the uh, the pan effect, making this a plus one. I mean, a draw one plus two. Like that's very very powerful. Not to mention it has its own boss monster built in that does crit a life, uh, or not crit a life, but deals the damage to your opponent instantly. And you can make this guy a gigantic like 30k dual attack double striker, and uh, what well, 35k I think, and it's it's incredibly good. Again, some more cards we'll show at the end of the video that do impact this leader a little bit more. But this is definitely a good red leader for people to check out if they want an aggro red deck or just something that's really low to the ground that's going to be able to swing a ton and that just has very good draw power. Um, I would say maybe not comparable to Gogeta, but pretty close. It, it, it definitely can pace with, with Gogeta in the early stages, potentially being able to kill Gogeta before they can get to their turn 4 play. The other red deck is going to be the Invoker leader, which is the Warriors of Universe 7. Now, this leader is probably my favorite leader in the entire set. Uh, I will not play it because I will not pay for the Invoker cards, but this is probably one of the, the, the most interesting leaders um, I think that we have currently in, in the format, or what, what will be the format, because we haven't really had any events yet with the new set. Um, being able to play all of the old Invoker cards as well as its own new batch of invoker cards including some arrival cards i didn't include it on this list on, on the uh, on the, the screen here but you have the 17 arrival that has double strike it kills something and draws you a multicolor card you have the sun gohan which has the ability of being able to untap energy and also as invoker you have the 17 here which is probably your the best card in the deck uh, being a 25 carry barrier blocker that you can play out for one underneath your gohan um and then one of the biggest you know finishers in this deck is the energy explosion goku uh between this and the 17 you can burn somebody for three damage with this effect on the bottom where it burns your opponent to damage if they take a damage um all the invoker tools built into that deck and just being a good red blue leader uh, or red blue archetype under a red leader uh, it is definitely something for people to have to <laughs> have to deal with and i think we're going to see uh this list uh probably start topping events as we start getting rolled in here into the regional se uh season so very happy to see people starting to play this deck and interested to see if people come up with some um some cool tech for this deck because there's a lot of good red blue cards now uh as i said earlier in the video there were some cards that are coming out that you guys should be getting your hands on if you have the ability to uh now some of these are going to be actually i think all of these will probably be pretty expensive um Two of them have already come out one has yet to be released but there are a bunch of online events you guys can play in to get said card which is going to be the super saiyan broly this is a um essentially a 25k crit because of the servant effect um and then also you can ko something uh, 15k or less or give your non overlord leader overlord uh, for the turn which means you can bottom deck this card after you play it and attack with it so you can play this card do all the stuff and then you can bottom deck it to draw a card and this works for any red leader that, except for Broly Swap, essentially. Um, that's crazy, right? But this is just a generic red card that can be played in any red deck, including all four of the decks that you saw in this video, but more likely going to probably play it in Pan, um, which makes it a base uh, 30k crit for one energy. Uh, you can play it in Gogeta, you can play it in Sin, whatever it is you want to do, right? Then we have Sun Gohan and Sin Shinron. Both of these are TP cards. Essentially, they do come out in the same format tournament kit with the SS Broly, but the Broly can only play, you can only get this card if you participate in any regionals, both, both um, in person and a webcam. So make sure you guys are getting these cards because this card will probably end up being a $40, $50 card off release, and it might stay there depending on what the, um, what the limitation is on this card being shipped out to the market now gohan and sin are both probably a little bit easier to get i think both of these cards are sitting around between 15 and 20 bucks i know gohan has a winner stamp which we do have here somewhere i don't know where it is i think it's in the binder it's like a 30 40 dollar winner stamp that will probably go down a little bit once the card starts getting in circulation both of these cards are just generic red cards oh well sin not so much but gohan is just a generic red card uh, it kind of replaces the fidel counterplay of being a one drop 
make something 20k and then also the double strike blocker now, this this is unique so don't you can't play more than one of them but the card is still going to be very good you are definitely going to play multiple of them in a deck just can only have one of them on the field at a time and then the sin works if your leader is a red sin or if your leader is a z leader and you have six or more uh, or you have six or more z energy so this is also i guess just you know generic as well you can add a card from your life to your hand which will allow you to self-awaken then the auto, choose one of your other red shadow dragon cards and KO when this card attacks your activates blocker. Choose one battle card or unison and it gets minus 15k for the turn. Meaning you can just turn like a dual attacker, triple attacker into, you know, you know half the uh, half the damage size. Or even a unison being able to take off the marker. Uh, and it's a 19k blocker. So, again, just another very, very good card for you guys to pick up. These are just all just good, good, good g generic red cards. So you guys should be picking these up when you guys have access to. Go, go to your locals play get the participation win whatever try to get these cards that way you have them so you're not paying crazy money out of pocket just to try to build a place out of these cards and to end the video um i have some set content here for you guys to check out there should be a link on each one of these videos uh these are two of the decks that came out in the new set we have obviously the warriors of universe 7 and warriors of universe 3 which i don't think is an incredibly competitive deck but it is something that could be fun if you guys want to check out some of that content there so as always thank you guys for the support and uh i enjoy you're making these videos hopefully we'll have a good format here i think it's going to shape up to be pretty fun um so hopefully you guys enjoy these red lists if you guys do enjoy any of these red leaders let me know down below which you guys you guys want to play uh and if maybe if i miss one you can, you can bring that up down in the comments below as well so thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video